right, I'm 3D classes uh, today. And the next couple lessons, what we're doing is learning how to use sine and cosine to find missing side lengths or unknown angles in triangles that are not right triangles. So what we've done so far is use sine, cosine, tangent to find uh, different parts of right triangles only. So uh, we're going to learn how to do this for triangles that are not right triangles, other than something other than a right triangle. Starting with the law of sines. Law of sines is this just a ratio uh, using um, angles and side lengths in a triangle that is uh, not a right triangle. So typically, you're not going to set up all three ratios here. Um, you, you just use two, but what it is, you can set either side. What you need is to an angle measure and the side across from it. Right. And then you'd set that equal to a different angle measure in the side across from that. You set the ratio and then you solve. All right. So let's look at an example. So find the measure of angle C. So we're trying to find this angle in here. That's the unknown angle. And we have this side length across from it. So I'm going to set up that ratio. So sine of C over 12. And that's the first one. Then we set up the other part uh, that we know. So we know here, the other part that's given to us, we have this uh, angle A is 84 degrees and the side across from it is 19. So we would do sine of 84 over 19. And now we can solve for C. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and evaluate uh, the sine of 84 uh, over 19. I'm just going to put that in calculator. So sine of 84 and then divide it by 19. So this in a calculator, the sine of 84 divided by 19 is 0 0.05. And then solve, I'm going to multiply both sides by 12. So 0 0.12, times 12, you get uh, 0 0.628. Write that a little bit clearer, 0. 0 0.628, false cancel out here. I'm going to cross that on red. And then it's sine of C. And then from here, uh, you take the inverse sine of both sides. So the inverse sine and sine cancel each other out. We're left with just C. The measure of angle C is equal to, and have to do the inverse sine on the calculator. So second inverse sine of 0 0.628, that comes out to 39.1 or 38.91, yeah, 38.91 degrees is the measure of angle C. All right, uh, let's do one more like that. All right, find the measure of angle C again. So uh, careful with what you're looking at. So we have angle C here, and the side across from it is five. So that's going to be sine of C over five is equal to. Um, so that's. That part, I'll highlight it so we can see which part is which. And then there's the 96 and the side across from it is 26. So sine of 96 over 26. Again, just solve for C. So we have uh, 
So sine of 96 divided by 26, just put that into a calculator first. Uh, 96 sum divided by 26, and up to 0 0.38, well, yeah, 0 0.0, 0 0.038. So I have sine of C over five. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by five. That comes out to 0 0.191. And I want that in green, whatever. So sine of C, give a little bit more space. Sine of C is equal to uh, 0 0.191. And then take the inverse sine of both sides. So inverse sign comes out to 11.02. So the angle measure C is 11 point, actually 03 rounded. There we go. That's it. All right. So let's do a couple more where we um, find missing side lengths. So uh, find BC, so that's the length of side BC. So B to C is this side here. So we are looking for this. Um, so you set it up the same way, uh, the angle and the side across from it. This is what we're looking for. So I'm gonna do sine of 91 over X is equal to, so that's here. Um, 24 is this angle here, and the side across from it is 13. So sine of 24 over 13. So that is this one here. Um, so we have a proportion. Uh, what we can do is actually just cross multiply to solve the proportion. I think that'll be the easiest thing, the quickest way to solve this. So I'm going to do uh, top of this one times bottom of the other one, and then bottom times top. So I'll do that here. So it'll be x times the sine of 24 is equal to 13 times the sine of 91. So I can just um, 13 times the sine of 91, I'll just go ahead and put that into a calculator. So 91 sine times 13, 12.99, uh, 12.99, um, yeah. and X times sine of 24. Divide both sides by the sine of 24. So um, divided by 24 sine equals 31.95. So you get X is equal to 30. 1.96 rounded. All right, so set up the, the proportion, cross multiply, and solve. Let's do one more example here. Find A, B. So uh, A, B, A to B is this side length here. This is what we're trying to find. So I'm going to start by setting up the ratios. So I have the X, the separate ratio with the angle across from it. So it's going to be sine of 77 over X, right? And then it's, um, oh, this one's a little bit different. Uh, here, 
we don't know the angle of crossment, right? So we actually have to find the angle of crossment. To do that, what we need to remember is uh, the angles inside a triangle add up to 180. So 56 plus 77 plus the measure of angle A all need to add up to 180. All right, so 56 plus 77. 56 plus 77 comes out to 133. Plus the measure of angle A. And then subtract 133 from both sides. You get the measure of angle A is equal to uh, 47. So now that we know that, we can finish setting up our ratio. So it's going to be the sine of 47 over 15. So if you don't know the angle measure, you just need to figure it out. There should have enough information to figure out what the missing angle is. Right? Um, so now, actually, I'm going to move some stuff over a little bit. Now to solve this, remember we just cross multiply. So X times sine of 47. Is equal to 77 times the sine of 15 or 15 times the sine of 77. Go ahead and work that out in a calculator. I think that's the easiest. So 77 sine times 15 is uh, 14.62. Uh, and then last step, just divide both sides by the sine of 47. So this cancels out, you get X is equal to 14.62 uh, divided by 47 sine equals 19.99. So there we go, 19.99. And that will do it for today. Uh, next time we're gonna be doing law of cosines.